subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and you would never miss an update from dreamshot today we'll talk about the dynamic range especially when the sky is involved in a picture and how adobe photoshop can help you fix the problem when the problem cannot be fixed with the camera settings so what's this dynamic range to tell you on a high level dynamic range is something to do with the the way the camera handles uh, a particular picture when there are different layers of exposures involved so for example there is a sky behind so we have to figure out two things one if we try to increase the exposure on me then the exposure on the sky also increases and it becomes white and if we try to decrease underexpose the, the sky then uh, it looks like i'm i'm talking in a very darker area there are solutions to this problem but how good they are one solution would be to use a flash and you try to overexpose the subject and keep the iso very low so obviously your flash is not reaching the sky so the exposure of the object and the sky may be compensated the second thing what you can do is when you're editing um, just make sure you bring down the highlights and increase the shadows that might probably help you a little bit and the third thing what usually people do is go for hdr uh, pictures and uh, you know we take two to three pictures of different exposures and uh, we try to uh, um, you know mix and match the best exposure areas and bring come up with one photo so even that is fine but everything has its own restriction when you go to the first solution which is you know using flash you can use it on a small object you can use it on uh, a group of people but if you have a building then that would be a problem the second solution increasing the shadows and decreasing the highlights uh, it's a decent one to a certain extent but beyond that i think uh, the photo starts looking unreal and the third solution as we spoke it is the hdr photo and personally i don't feel hdr gives a very uh, real look for the photo uh, and if you want to keep the photo real then a lot of work has to be done on that hdr photo so especially when it comes to huge objects like buildings and we have uh, a very bright sky behind it's a very easy and simple solution to replace the sky from some other photo and with the use of photoshop you can really do a good job I had taken the picture of a mosque in Abu Dhabi and I had faced the same problem. I had to underexpose or I had to overexpose and by doing that uh, either uh, the sky would have uh, been overexposed or the object itself would have been underexposed. So I thought um, I'll uh, keep the right exposure and I'll fix everything using the Photoshop. Let's see how we can do that.
thank you so much for watching this video please feel free to comment and ask any questions in the comment section below take care